You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a face that we were just talking, has been here for a while. <laughs> Jason Hunter time. from Bayware Brockton Area Workforce Investment Board. Yes. We're going to talk about that too. Jason, welcome. Mark, thank you very much for having Good us back. Good to see you. You got, guys got all sorts of new and exciting things going on. Yes, sir. We, we also had the opportunity to interview Sheila, yep. uh, your executive director. Yes. But she told me you're going to talk about all sorts of other things other than <laughs> what she talked about. So wow, sounds like what she... are we What are we talking about? So um, with, we have some new things coming up in the near future. Um, September 27th, we'll be premiering a new brand. Um, the state has rebranded the workforce investment boards throughout the state. Uh, and we'd like to announce a big event that we'll be going to be having on September 27th. We'll be, we're gonna, it's a movie premiere theme, so we're going to be premiering our new name and a new brand. So it'll be very exciting. Um, but. As Bayweb, we still have a lot of things going on in terms of just the career center and how we operate the career center and all the programs that we have going on there now. Uh, it's a lot. You know, we have 8,000 people through our doors every year just through that career center. So it's very exciting, and we have a ton to offer the public. So some of the stuff that I heard about from Sheila, yes. it, what I mean, you guys have done welding. We've had Ray on to oh, talk about some of our that. Yeah, Ray's been on a number um, of times. And, and in partnership with Southeastern Regional, which oh, yes. I'm on the school committee for, full disclosure, Excellent. but it's nice <laughs> to see yep. organizations work together. You sure. guys always have. Sure. Yep. Um, there's um, CNA training. Yep. So we have our, C we'll be offering another welding training in the very near future. We do have a fully functional virtual reality welding machine yeah. that we do offer um, to if people want to come in and see it from the public and get an idea of welding is like, uh, what welding as a job is like. We do have that. Ray is fully trained on it, uh, and he's shown it to a ton of people. Um, in addition, we have our healthcare training lab, which is also right. right up there. We're looking at offering this year another five to six CNA classes, certified nursing assistant classes. Uh, they usually average between about eight to ten people. Which is great because there's a lot of for-profit folks trying to do that yep. that take people's money. Yes. Okay, I'm a non-profit type of guy too. Ah, we are a non-profit and, and, business. And a, uh, Southeastern is a, an educational institution. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have groups out there that are for-profit schools that yep. charge people lots of money oh, for ton, all this a stuff. a ton of cash. And it's money that they really can't yep. afford. It's income eligible, so you can't just, you know, you can't nope. change a, a formal training program for that if you actually have there are, money. There are some documentation you okay. need to come in, um, but we you, do have money available if people uh, qualify for the, the program and uh, qualify under Career Center or our Youth Career Center. We do have money available for them to take that class. We also have individual training account money for someone that comes in for youth and or adult that also has to income qualify. There's other small things. And depending on the training they want to take, <clears throat> there are requirements, say it's a CDL or it's a nursing assistant or a medical assistant, any of the above really. But we, we do have funds available up to 5,000 to cover the courses cost. That's phenomenal. It's now, a lot of money. Accessing phone number. You still have a phone, we so do. tell us well, the number. Well, yes, we have a Comcast phone now. Okay. Okay. Uh, you can contact us at 508-584-3234. And that's an easy number to remember. You guys easy. have had it from day one. This has been us from day one, and we do not plan to change it. Okay. And so that will not happen. Um, but, yeah, that's the easiest way to reach us. So please visit us at 34 School Street, right through that back entrance, through the first floor of the Career Center. And if you want to see me, I'm on the second floor. There you go. Now, Sheila mentioned something about youth ITAs. I don't so, know what an ITA so is. So that's what I was just discussing. That is the individual training account. Okay. So uh, that is eligible to anybody that can come in and meet the uh, guidelines through either the Youth Career Center or the Adult Career Center Career Works. Uh, come in. There is some paperwork. Uh, you have to meet with a counselor and discuss what kind of programs you're looking for. And then you will have to also research three different um, programs or three different vendors for that program and find the best fit and then if that all fits perfectly you choose your vendor we'll pay them directly and you can take the training and hopefully you get a certificate and we'll be on your way to a great career. Now talking about the welding which I have a little bit of experience about not sure. that I can weld anything. I can't I've tried but um, not even good at the VR. I'm going to tell you something you don't have 
plumbers that are starving. You don't have welders that are starving. The trades are really where it's at these I'm days. also a big advocate for the trades. And well. we had a local business in Brockton. I think it was called Adams Ironworks. They're over on Montello Street. That I don't know if you guys right. know about them. Um, they did our welding for our fire escapes needed some work. Okay. We have a back area where there's a handicap accessible ramp yep. and they put that in snowplow hit it a couple of times so i oh, need to get him back there. It loose. maybe i'm going to yeah, call yeah. ray <laughs> and he's going to help me and maybe he'll show me and i'll put on the the glasses so yep, i don't get visor, anything in my face have that on. the visor but and he's very enthusiastic about it by the uh, way he loves it you got great people over there if yes. people are unemployed youth you know looking for a new place you guys are one stop shopping and i think the new branding you know, uh, yes. which Sheila revealed, by the way, just oh. so you know, okay? It's it's it, it's out there. Okay. She's get, she was supposed to wait, but. Okay, well, <laughs> I like it because it also uses the name of this show. I won't yes. repeat it again, but I, it, 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 it uses that name. And Brockton is a great place, and the greater Brockton area yes. is what you serve. There are nine, nine communities, I think, and yep. she said about 300,000 people have a, that are served. I, yeah, we're right at that number, right about 290-something. Okay, so, so right at 300,000. What else do you want to tell our viewers about BayWeb or any of the programs? I just would like them to uh, come see us on the 27th at 34th School Street. Uh, the open house will be from 3 to 6. Mm -hmm. So if you have some time, uh, we'll have some refreshments there. It'll be uh, quite the event. You can see uh, all of the services we have to offer, including the welding machine, the healthcare training lab, all the services on the first floor through the Career Center as well as all the services downstairs. There's a manufacturing lab downstairs, if you're interested in that field. We have that as well downstairs in the youth center. Um, and we also have veteran services right. as well on the first floor. Uh, they get priority service in any career center in the state. Uh, and we would like, I would like to trump that for Brockton, that if you have services and you're a veteran, please, or you're in need of services and are a veteran, please come see me. And she told me that I have to wait because she is going to keep it a secret uh -oh. as to what's going on in the bank area. Ah, I don't, I can't, I TB, can't know TBA. that. TBA. Okay. Um, do you guys still do like ESL, ESOL stuff? I know you guys were doing some training with. We that. incorporate in that in a lot of the trainings that we offer throughout our programs. Uh, it's not offered in everyone, but Massasoit Community College does have a presence in our building through the Career Center. They offer classes. Uh, a few times a year. I don't know the schedule offhand, but that's certainly something you can contact us and we'll get uh, the information. But we do offer. Uh, there are the Adult Learning Center is also one of our partners. Yeah. So they're heavily represented with us. Well, always good stuff. It's All right. Mark. Worth the wait for you to yeah. come back, but we're not going to make it another year. No. So That'd we'll be get great. You, we'll get you back in here. Thank you very much. Thanks for being here. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.